All right, bud, how's it going? This is State of Decay 2, Lethal Zone, and I'm joined by Amy. Ah! Previously, everything went wrong. Oh, for Christ's sake. But don't worry, we won't be repeating any of those mistakes. Oh, my God. God. We're left with one woman standing. So top of the to-do list is to recruit some cannon fodder so we've got some extra lives. Home status, hopeless. Five food, zero medical, six ammo, and zero building. Oh, but I do have eight fuel. Okay, yeah, and we're gonna need more supplies. A lot more supplies. I've got a fair bit of ammo, but nothing that fits the guns I got to decide to take a risk and sort the ammo supplies into random ammo. <gasps> Did you just smash a window in? I didn't mean to. Oh my god, you jumped for the first floor. <laughs> well, I just completely wasted my time. The knobheads we helped in the last video want more play examples. And that's a great way to start our recruitment drive. But why the fuck they want so many of the zombie remains, I'll never know. I just hope they ain't eating them. Don't want to be recruiting any tainted meat. Amy's kindly gifted me some ammo and play examples. So we don't have to risk our lives gathering them. You've seen what happened last time when that happened. Oh my god. My life then flashes before my very eyes. Behind you! Oh. Well, thanks for the heads up, Aim. I did. I said behind you. After I off. heard the, you know, the blood curdling, <laughs> like, I enter the crackhead shed, which is a great place to defend the zombie apocalypse from. <laughs> Her name's Nanny. I again speak to Dalton. We need some plague samples for a project. This is a big request, but you've helped us before, so I thought it was worth asking. Yes, of course. Here you go. Didn't even have to work for him. We should normalize using <laughs> your loved ones for loot. Work smarter, not harder. And in real life, you make a judgment on the morals. Their actions, their good deeds. But this is a video game, so I just check out their stats. So Dalton is shit cardio, not very witty, terrible fighter, and fuck all when it comes to shooting. So I think he's bottom of the list. Then we've got Gratz. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Her name is Faze. T-H-A-I-S. Oh, I just climbed on it. She says, Gratz, you're still alive. She's got shit cardio, shit wits, zero fighting, better shooting, and she's a good craftsman. Or craftswoman. Let's be progressive. There's Nanny, who, let's be honest, is already winning the race due to her ridiculous name. Oh, I'm a pro. Come at me, bro. Amy, you're supposed to be helping me here. Oh. Sorry, carry on. Or do I go for Nanny? Not a great cardio, terrible wits, terrible fighting, bit shooting, but she's an excellent plumber, so she's used to shit. So, is anybody good? It's gonna be one of the women. The guy's, like, fucked. We're gonna be building a feminist nanny. icon. So, nanny or face? Uh, nanny. Later, we shall find out that nanny's leadership trait is a sheriff. And that's where shit really kicks off. And yes, I am teasing a video you've already clicked on. Ooh, food supply. As retention is really important in building a strong YouTube channel. So is leaving a like, so if you could do that before we carry on, thank you very much. I loot the shed, but there's too much stuff to take, and we haven't even got a bloody car. I give Amy the food sack, and I collect the fuel resource. It's heavy! Yeah, I know it is. Oh, what, there's an ammo supply as well? I equip the crossbow, then break open the ammo for eight standard bolts. Oh, I got snapping. Oh, have I got snapping? Oh, this woman's got gunslinger. Oh my god, this is class. Right, I'm ready to take on the apocalypse, Aim. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, you might not realise, but auto-aim is so very important. Then a couple of twat faces rock up to our shed. Wait, ooh, what the fuck? It's quite clear this is a rival cult moving in on our patch. Look, he's even got cooler robes than us. Like, seriously, what is that? Is that like a dragon hoodie? I need to upgrade. Where the fuck do I find a dragon hoodie? Whoa. What's going on? Why are these guys spawned here? Talk to RX to see if they're willing to cut you in. Before we can chat, we get attacked by zombies. Yeah, RX, the Remainers. What the hell do you want? You look like you could use a hand. Cut me in and I'll help you loot the next place. Or, looks heavy, but I'll be happy to lighten your load. Hand it over. Oh, that really hurts your throat. Ugh. However, the Remainers will become hostile. What do you reckon, Aim? Can we take some hostiles on lethal mode? I'm sure you probably could. I shoot the first dude in the head, but he walks it off like a fucking champ. Consider me intimidated. I'm gonna call him Neymar, because he's holding his shoulder after being shot in the bloody temple. You're not gonna get the penalty here, you prick. Get the bastard. Always take advantage of a man while he's down, especially if you're holding the machete. Yeah, kill them both. Gotta kill them both. With Neymar down, we'll call this woman Neo. As she literally forward rolls to avoid my gunfire. Oh, shit, that's oh, not mate, good. Gonna hit me. I then forget the most important rule of Zombieland. Oh, shit. The double tap. I try to get a good shot off, but this woman must think she's in the fucking Olympics or something. Believe in you, Amy. Amy slashes at her throat, and she goes down. Stay down. Yeah, stay down, motherfucker. Oh, wait, hang on. She turned into a zombie. Don't wait. I got it. It's a shame we haven't got a car. If we had a car, we'd be able to transport all our spoils of war. Petrol, rifle, simple wedding ring. Even the other body had a gun and some building supplies. That's when I have an epiphany. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We do have a car. Let's head back to base and I'll come up with a plan. The other night, I went on the grind on Amy's community. Not a euphemism. I literally spent a couple of hours doing the hard graft. 
going raw, coming and going. And now she has enough supplies to feed a council estate, which is handy as all the food banks are closing to bury an old woman. Is it cheating that I'm, you know, loop farming via my girlfriend? Feel free to let me know in the comment section. I won't listen to you. Ice creamer. Oh yeah, it is. I take out my crossbow for a silent takeout. Look at me being all professional. Oh. He even called it by his right name. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh my god, I'll grab him. Amy rushes in and I try to steal the kill, but just end up shooting her in the back. Oh, Amy. I just said I'm gonna get him. We get home and notice a nasty juggernaut wandering the streets below. I drop off the supplies, load my new rifle, then take two toolboxes from Amy's supply locker. Using the kits, I repair the car. Good thing it blew up so close to home, unlike the second car we had. We then travel back to the shed to collect the rest of the loot, making sure to be very careful not to damage the car. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> we gather the remaining loot, but get surprised by a screamer. Oh my god. These twats have no respect for glassware. Bastard. There are two more containers to search, but I can't seem to find them. Ah, ooh. That might be a... I think that's a weapons case. A weapons case could contain a rare weapon. I'm hoping for a grenade launcher, but nope. All it contains is bloody school supplies. We head back to unload, but come across an issue fairly close to home. Oh my god, look at all those bloaters. Don't drive up, they? That sound, sounds like an issue, right? We're just going to deal with these quickly. And it's our duty to protect our neighbourhood. People in the comments always tell me to never use a gun in lethal even if it's silenced but to them i say don't be such pussies life is for living behind you behind what? you what what oh shit oh i'm not being funny boys one of you really should have warned me about this i expect better from you might have been a mistake game drive 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 i can't get out of the car oh god okay Right, looks like I'm getting in. When a loved one is being eaten by the undead, make sure to get in the back seat and hop over the headrest in order to get to the driver's seat. It's all about the efficiency. Never underestimate the G-force from the reverse gear in a family sedan. I do my duties and save her life. Come on, get in, get in. Ignoring the fact I put her in danger in the first place, but we move on. We unload and I tidy up a bit. Huh, look at that. I did it without even firing a shot. I then realise my infirmary is broken down due to lack of supplies. And it'd be great if we had a steady stream of opioids to numb the pain of the apocalypse. So we head out to claim a nearby medical clinic as an outpost. Again, making sure to be very careful with the car. Whee! Oh my god. Well done. Yeah, so that might have been a mistake. Ah! Oh, no, Amy's about to get dragged out. Oh, oh no, you're good. Because now they're all on the way to us. So let's just deal with these quickly. That was sick. I clear the clinic and there's only one very lonely zombie. Have fun. I turn it into an outpost before looting the fruit stand next door. We head back to give this woman a rest and take over as Nanny, our future sheriff. But on the way I decide to tease a juggernaut. Really? Oh no, 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 no. This is the feral. We're not fucking around with that. I always get distracted and try to clean up the neighborhood once again. Well, you drive properly. That did great. Well done. Yeah, I think some of them are glitched because I couldn't see them and they were screaming. And one's sort of stuck in my bonnet at the moment. I again unload, fix the infirmary, then swap to Nanny. But that's when I made a massive mistake. I forgot to put her in the lizard hoodie. I just hope you will all learn to forgive me. We're now going to meet the neighbors and speak to Izzy at the local heroes. But before we do, Amy again fixes the car. It's not cheating just because I've got my girlfriend to do the hard work. I mean, technically, I did the hard work. The local heroes have a terrible eye for real estate, as they've set up base right on the edge of plague territory. Maybe they plan on gentrifying. Who knows? Oh my god, we're gonna die. You'll be massively surprised to learn I play it smart by abandoning Amy. Don't leave me. Then climbing on top of the car. Ah! I was hoping these guys in here were gonna help. Run into the house, eh? Run, bitch, run. <laughs> One of the local heroes comes out to clear the horde while I stand on the car and sort of half arsedly shoot the occasional zombie. Oh, I'm gonna close your back door. We don't want any zombies. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't want any zombies coming from the back door. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm definitely staying here now. Oh, they're in the house! A fellow has decided to join the party, and you'd think it'd be easy to take out as I'm safe on top of the car. But he's one quick boy. Stay still, you little squirmy little bastard. You're doing great. Me? I'm not doing great at all. I'm hiding on a you. car. Like, look, Dave. I'm, be I'm in the window. Oh, hey, him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in you. Oh, uh, I wish I brought some <laughs> explosive. This would be class. Oh, screamers. Oh. With everyone on their last legs, it's time for me to swing in and save the day. Although, that might have been a mistake. Time to go hand to hand. Disaster then strikes. Oh, my controller's disconnected. This is how I learned oh. I'd die first in the apocalypse. Amy, protect me. She oh can't God, hear me. Hear oh no. Ah, this is desperate times. I can see one trying to nibble at my ankles. I don't usually struggle this much to get it in. Oh, get no. in, you bastard. Get in. I get my battery pack in and stomp the head of this crawler. Aim, can you hear me? Hear you. 
Oh, I haven't plugged the fucking thing back in. Oh. Test it, test it. Can you hear me? Oh, oh there you go. You. Right. Sorry, my controller disconnected. Oh, I feel like I did a wonderful job. Yeah, I think you did great. I eventually managed to chat to Izzy. Hope you're being careful out there. We have interesting neighbors. Kushner and Grace could tell you more about them. Then why am I chatting to this bitch for? Go and check the Kushner, man. Folks at the Tartan Mart are always up late making noise. Some people like to party no matter what, I guess. Parties? Sounds dangerous. I then talk to Grace. The people at the gardener's house are downright scary. They don't seem like they trust anyone. Sounds like some bad apples. The mission has given us two choices and I choose the closest. So we're gonna head to meet the party animals living at the Tartan Mart. We arrive at the shop, but devastatingly, we're too late. You're a zombie now. Damn it, I'm too late. But at least we have an excuse to kill them and loot the corpses. Gotta look at the bright side of life, am I right? We then head back to base to unload the goodies we've gathered from the corpses. Oh, 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 oh. What? We're out of fuel. No! Why is he stopped? Oh, no, dude. I then realized the sword I looted is actually a wooden stick. We make it back as it ticks over to day two. You are a bitch. Stop complaining. <laughs> I heal with a first aid kit, which I definitely didn't get from Amy. Then take all the explosives from my locker. I also grab a fuel can and trek back to the car so we have something useful to travel with. I pick up Amy, then head to meet the hostiles. While I come up with a plan. You see, these people are potentially dangerous. And as Sheriff, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. So I should give them the benefit of the doubt. Go, I'm going to go to the back door. I'm going to put a bomb there. Or I could tackle it like the IRA in the 70s. Bomb on. Yeah! After the explosion, two shots drops him to the knees and I move in to slice and dice. This was actually a really good plan. Huh. Right, one's dead, one's dead. Just the two to go. Oh shit, he's turning into a zombie though. For some reason, I lob a smoke bomb to calm things down. I don't know why. I plant the firework as a distraction tactic, then make my way inside. Oh my god, why is it so dark? Inside is chaotic as we fight the dead and the living. Did I die? I accidentally throw a firecracker in the house and shoot a man playing musical statues. I got five minutes to live. Oh, what? I'm dead! I literally get kicked out of the house. Oh my god. And now we have a cool as fuck showdown with this woman. Nah, <laughs> I actually just shoot her in the face. Shit. She gets up while I get jumped by ah! zombies. Oh my god, get off me. No, 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 no. One final swing of the sledgehammer. No, I died. Can I get an RIP nanny? <laughs> Sorry. I'm still laughing at the name Nanny, okay? But I will take an RIP. Thank you very much. Very sad. I'd respawn in a shed nearby with no weapons, but some snacks, some Xanax, and a dream. I got 45 seconds to live. I decide it's best for a tactical retreat, and Amy follows suit. Let me in the car. I mean, you're gonna turn to a zombie, even though she's on the verge of becoming the undead. Before leaving, I try to end the hostile with the car. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I just like, I like how it boots you out the car. Can I get an RIP survivor in the comment section? Learning from my mistake, I actually retreat. Seeing as all my guns are currently being carried around by a zombie in a field somewhere. I need to plan a revenge mission now. Amy offers to lend me some of hers. I mean, if you're offering. What would you like? I have a gun, a gun, a gun, 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 gun. I decide it would be best to take the gun. She gives me an Uzi and a Scorpion, then we head out. At least your car's still standing. Oh, you had to say it, didn't you? I know. You just I, had to just say it. Just as it come out, I was like, I regret saying that. Oh my Uzi. God. It's, it was already <laughs> smoking. That's why I didn't bother finishing off the run over job. We pull up and I think it would be cool to end him with a soda can bomb. So I shoot out the window and throw it. Oh, oh shit. But they've run out the front anyway and it's easy to clean up from here. Dead bitch. With them dealt with, I make sure to loot the corpse of my mate. I'll need the bomb she's carrying for later. We then go to see if we can rescue Rael, a stranger who's called for help. But there are blood plague zombies everywhere. Drive backwards, reverse into them. Oh yeah. People always tell me you can't take damage from behind, but that definitely looked like I took damage. We chat to the guy and it turns out he was having a massive session when he got separated from his boys. Dangerous area for a pub crawl. Let's get you home and sobered up. I make sure to steal two of his molotovs while he's not looking. We get him home but the car has taken some serious damage in the process. Are we killing these people? No, no, no. We're not killing everybody, eh? I want to recruit one of his mates but the game won't let me. Well, we might make it back alive but I just don't think the car's making it back alive. <laughs> Oh, oh. Amy's sensible and jumps out of the burning vehicle. Did you jump out? I didn't mean to. Okay, so maybe not that sensible. It then detonates three seconds after I get out. Oh, shit. Oh. Are you dead? No, I'm, I'm dead. trying to, to save you. Save her, I do. But it's short-lived as we run into a pharaoh. Oh, my God. No, not this prick. The two of us unload rounds and rounds of lead into the bastard, and we get the kill. Yes, Amy. We fucking nailed him. Wait, is that another one? I plant the box bomb and okay, detonate it. I desperately try to lead the feral into the path so I can detonate it, but it goes off way too late. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I no. think this might be the end, Dave. This might be the it's end. 
Oh my god! Why does it have to end this way? Amy dies, and while the zombies are feasting on my corpse, it gives me time to sneak away. But that feral is one persistent fucker. I do the only thing I can and throw myself off a cliff. I've just jumped off a cliff. Somehow I survive, and this puts enough space in between me and the feral to get away. Amy respawned back at the pissheads place, so she has to make it through the holds I've barely escaped from. Unfortunately, you can't watch any of it, but please enjoy this radio version. Ah! Piss off! Run, bid, run! As I get home, I get a notification that Amy's hitched a ride, but she thinks she's died. Oh no! No, you oh. here? Oh. Hi. You okay? Hello. Oh, you got any drugs? I use the infirmary to heal up, then steal more loot from Amy. And to end this video, slash community if we're being honest, it's time to take out the juggernaut we seen earlier. I plant the mine, then trick the bastard into tripping it. Come on, come ah. on. Yes! I repeat this tactic again. Yes! Then swap to landmines. Oh my god, I am fucking a pro! The second yeah. landmine drops him to his knees. Yes, yes, Amy, Amy, I'm killing the juggernaut! Unfortunately, you're unable to watch my greatest moment play in State of Decay because of the placement of this bloody bush. Oh my god, I got trolled by some shrubbery. Ah. What a way to end the video. Oh shit. Oh my god! That definitely wasn't my fault, by the way. Oh, Amy's dead! But I will have an RIP survivor in the comments. Actually, in fact, while you're typing RIPs, add another, as Muller doesn't last much longer. Oh my god! It's pitch black, so you can't see anything. But Muller is dead. Poor girl. Poor girl. Community lost. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another video.